welcome to our first home group session in the series we are calling Rescue Me. It's based on the book of Jonah. And uh, let me tell you, the book of Jonah, it's one exciting book. Today, the session is called God Interrupts. And I just want to introduce it by just placing us in the same kind of atmosphere that Jonah would have been at the beginning of this book. Everything, if you can imagine with me, is going normal. Just like probably your week this week, or the week before that, or the month before that. Jonah's just having a regular day. You know, I love regular days. I, I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person who uh, likes things exactly the way uh, I'm used to having it. I could eat the same food every day for a week. I like my routine of getting up and reading the Bible and then, and then having my coffee and then going off to work. And I, I like how our family runs in a particular way. I imagine Jonah was a bit like that. He had made it as a prophet. He, he, he already knew what he was going to do every day. And so God's interruption at the beginning of Jonah, well, it wasn't what he was expecting and it didn't go that great for him. Let's read Jonah chapter 1 verse 1. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying... That's how most prophetic books start. So God is uh, speaking, as He does, to His prophet. Uh, we're all um, kind of like Jonah. God should be speaking to us. Arise, it says in verse 2, and go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for great evil has come up before me. It's, for its evil has come up before me. So God calls Jonah and gives him a task. It's not a normal task. Jonah now has to not only uh, doesn't get to just minister to his own people, his own other, you know, children of God, but now he has to go to a foreign country. It's kind of not normal. And then Jonah does the next not normal thing. Verse three says, "But Jonah rose to flee from to Tarshish." from the presence of the Lord. And he went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. And he paid the fare and went on board to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. I don't think Jonah um, treated God's interruption well. I don't think he appreciated God's interruption. And uh, I just wanted to introduce, you know, today we're going to be talking about can God interrupt your life? I think if we're all to be very honest, most of us are immediately thrilled when things, get inter when, in when things interrupt us. I don't like it when my day gets interrupted. I don't like it when our routine gets messed around with. But in today's session, you'll discover that God's interruption, God's interruption works out fantastically. It was intended for good, and it does good. Jonah ends up saving an entire nation for God. Jonah ends up witnessing the biggest miracle in his whole life. He makes it into being one of, the, one of the biblical authors. In fact, it's the, probably the most famous incident in Jonah's life. All because God decided to interrupt him. I, I wonder if you know what's in store for your life. Whether your plans match up with God's plans. You know, we call this series Rescue Me because the person who needed rescuing through this series was Jonah, a person who seemingly had everything going well for him at the beginning of the book. I hope it will be a reflection of your own life and that you would think, oh, I might be alright, but maybe I also need rescuing. God bless.